What is going on guys, we're back with week 4 in the Cowboys Legacy franchise and we are still undefeated going against another divisional rival, the Redskins. Of course, uh, trying to keep up with the Eagles here and this is the players of the week. Not a single one of our guys, but that's alright. Looking at the turnover differential of the Redskins, negative 14 through 3 weeks. That's not so good. Uh, yardage, not bad, but turnovers through the damn roof. Uh, second and 4. Uh, starting on offense and throwing a shot to Reese, who we really don't give those 50-50 balls a chance to. But uh, he makes the play there and uh, very impressive. Tom Montgomery underneath, nice play. He hit sticks his own guy after missing the first hit stick. Weaving in and out, we beat him. And the only one to tackle us is the out-of-bounds line, sadly. First and 10, though, Elliott trying to force his way forward for the score. Gets about 10 yards. And here... Uh, blown coverage, Elliott wide open touchdown, just like that, a quick, easy score, second and six, we're in the 28 yard line, playing a little bit of defense, trying to get that bait, missed it, and here's a huge hit, Antonio Brown, kind of known for his fumbling in this league, I believe that's already fumble number three or four for him on the season, only three weeks in, first and ten, underneath for the run, and we just light him up with Chase here, second and 13, uh, going for a pass play this time, and over the middle, he has someone open. He has someone open on the sideline, too. Our best corner, Wouzier, constantly getting beat. Injury timeout. Honestly, I have no idea who that is. Maybe his running back. And speaking of running backs, a new change of pace guy here. Oh, maybe not. Nick Mixon makes a couple guys miss, running through some people, sliding off. Very nice run there for him. And here, insta, insta shedding uh, or free rush from our cornerback, Malcolm Butler. Second and 18 over the middle. Dropped interception by Byron Jones. Third and 18 now from the 40. Come with, I believe, a delayed blitz. We are. And over the middle, he's going to take a shot. And he finds his guy. Gets the verse down. Down to the 13-yard line. Second and 12. About two minutes left in the first quarter. Rolling out to the left. Making us miss. And boom! Maybe the hit stick of the year. The ball literally just goes flying into the sky. Haven't seen that. Like, I haven't seen a hit where the ball has gone like that in a long time. And here, speaking of a fumble, we fumble. Our guy misses the recovery, and he's down to the one now after the recovery. Oh, that's brutal. First and goal inside, and we bring him down with Jordan Lewis. Nice little uh, find there for us. Second and goal from the two, looking for another stop, and this time he gets a wide open lane. No contest. First and 10 for the 25-yard line, and looking to... Uh, Come back from our mistake over the middle. Time Montgomery open. Gets hit pretty hard low. Thank God he's not injured. First and 10. Looking with the play action. And has someone underneath to the outside. Time Montgomery. Nice uh, first down grab there. Really didn't have the air on the ball that I wanted. Potentially the last play of the first quarter here. Elliott looking for some room. Gets a nice gain about 7 or 8. Or are we going to hike it? Which we love to hike it. We do. And... Elliott easily gets the first, running through some players. Oh, my God. Just an absolute tank. Quarterback so far, 8 for 8. He did fumble, but obviously fumbles can happen to the worst of them. And 8 for 8 is gone as we throw an interception. His guy wasn't even ready for it, but gets his head around at the perfect time. Gets the pick. And uh, the Redskins have a chance to take a lead here for the first time all game. First and 10, the screen. Too predictable for us. And Antonio Brown making people miss, but he gets hit. It's going to be a negative four-yard rush, technically, because it was thrown behind the line. And their potential pick for Jordan Lewis dropped. Third and 14 for the 25-yard line. Uh, defense is playing very well, and there, nice little swat. Almost intercepted by Byron off the tip. Our ball after the punt, looking for a score. And here, that's exactly what we would have if we had an accurate throw. Reese beats the coverage, as he usually does. And it's a missed throw by the rookie. Third and five. Taking a shot here. This one's a little bit tougher. Not a bad throw. Pretty close. Couldn't get it, though, sadly. And here is a return for him with Antonio Brown. Looking for an angle, and bam! Kirksey demolishes him. It's a fumble, but not recovered by us again. So these Antonio Brown fumbles could be helping him. Shays here with a sack. Because in my opinion, like I, like I always think, the more picks and fumbles you throw, the lesser chance that it happens again. That's my thought. Third and four, there's a number, another fumble, so maybe I'm wrong. He's got a chance to get the first off of it, though, and he does not. So it's going to be another punt. 
Seven all is the score. Defense is locking up. Offense really hasn't been doing much, though. But that might change here. We have the blocks for days. And that's an 80-yard touchdown for Zeke. No one will catch him. Very hard to catch him in the open field. Just gone. Straight up gone. 14-7. to seven. That's what we're talking about for the 25-yard line. And he's got someone over the middle. And we get our pick stolen by... Byron Jones, surprised he made the pick there. Look at the moves. Byron, oh, one man to beat there. Almost got it. Kept bumping into our own players, though. Third to five, Ajayi is in as our starting running back for the moment, and he gets a nice gain of about 10-plus, getting us the easy first down. Third and three, uh, the last play before two-minute warning, more than likely. And where are we going to go with this? Plenty of time with the blocks, rolling out left, running, and... We get a bit of lag, so we don't know what's going to happen. We get the first down. Two-minute warning, like we said, versus goal from the eight-yard line. And looking for a touchdown. Do we have it? We do. Walker, the rookie tight end, gets the easy underneath play. Walks into the end zone, untouched. Scores. And here, a sack. A combined sack between Lawrence and Lawrence Westbrook. Second and 19. Over the middle, wide open. And he did not think he was going to get that. And lucky for us, he didn't. Because if he catches that in his try, that might be a score for Brown, even though he's on the slower side. Look at the user coverage there. Same animation, but user coverage, perfectionate. I mean, that is, can't play that much better than that. And tries to find him. He had him, but there's a lot of traffic there. And we do force it out. And honestly, don't know what happens there. I feel like he could have kicked a field goal. Did he miss? I don't know. But we're still up by 14. And. On third and 10, inside our own 11, we cannot get it. And here is the last play of the first half. Looks like he's going to be taking a shot. He is, and it is going to be not picked. As per usual in the league, you don't catch interceptions unless it's a middle linebacker. Antonio Brown running to the left, getting some room, getting some cut moves. He breaks so many tackles, also breaks the tackle off of his hands when he fumbles half the damn time. Uh, but that was a really good return. Sets him up at the 47. What I can say, though, is I don't think a single Antonio Brown fumble has resulted in his ball being taken away. That's gross. So to the outside, third and five. His quarterback misses. Fourth and five now. It's going to be a punt or a fake. And we make the tackle with Malik Jefferson. Great stop. He was one yard short. Very close. And inside, we have Ty Montgomery, and he misses the throw. Can you make the throw once in your life, you youngster? And to the outside, he picks us off. I mean, nothing goes right for us. <laughs> Just nothing goes right. Goes from a wide open pass miss to me making a terrible read. And this is the second time this game where uh, we both turned it over back to back. <laughs> we fumbled earlier, or he fumbled earlier. We recover the next play, and then we throw a pick there, and he recovers or picks the ball off next play. Crawford taking a shot, obviously. Hard for him to catch it, even though he is a giant with great catching stats. Zeke inside. Oh, look at the cut. Zeke, one man to beat. Takes a terrible angle, but so do I. Oh, my God. What in the world was that suction? Still my fault. Should have had that easier. And to the outside. Doesn't matter. Jayajayi, easy receiving touchdown. So now we have extended the lead by another seven, making it 28-7. to 21-point lead to the outside. Wouzier. Doing a pretty good job. You know, he's not getting in front of the ball too much, but he's limiting the catches on his side for the most part, which is good. Third and 14 over the middle. Ball goes flying. Easy pick. Once again, dropped. I feel like we definitely, ooh, injury timeout. We definitely need to up these uh, pick stats, at least for Madden 19. Maybe not now. It's a little too late. Who cares? But fourth and 14. Insta pressure. Well, not really insta pressure, but good pressure. Malik Jefferson does the job. Second and six. Running to the right, and here, stupid move, and you'll see why we get injured. The rookie holding his wrist. Don't know what it is. That was unrelated injury. I don't know whose that was. Third and one. Matt Ryan is in. Terrible throw, but Ajayi off the tip gets the touchdown, and here we can see it is a dislocated wrist, which could be God knows how many weeks or no weeks. Hopefully, it's the no part. Westbrook having an amazing season so far, up to two sacks now, which means he uh, got at the quarterback three times because he had two combined, and somehow he catches that on second and 18. What a play. After, uh, you know, a lot of 
A lot of throws downfield, a lot of runs. Third and goal from the seven-yard line. Inside, almost intercepted by, I don't even know who that is, Malcolm Butler, I think. He gets his field goal, though, and, you know, 34 to 10. And Jack Theo, what a truck. Just runs him right over. First and 10, the screen is kind of red. And Jay Ajayi on the other side gets a wide open lane, runs two people over, gains about 20. Teddy Bridgewater's first throw, 23 yards. First and 10, Elliott getting the handoff inside. Nice little cut move inside, bouncing off of a player. And this offense really can do no wrong at this point, looking very strong. Although on third and one, bad read by me with Teddy. Reese obviously not going to catch that. We get the field goal. Seven minutes in the fourth, pretty much game over, but... Maybe there'll be some highlight plays in there. Almost got the sack, but even better, Malik Jefferson gets the interception. And we're, you know, intending to waste a lot of the clock here. Elliott wide open. Of course, we could probably run this for maybe 20 plus, but we're going to slow down. Try and waste the clock as much as we can. Or second and one, we'll go for a corner fade. Crawford with the touchdown. Oh my God. What a beast. How in the world did he make that play? And almost picked off by the DT, my user, on point there. Third and four, about three minutes left in the fourth. I mean, obviously, like I said, it's over. Holy crap, look at the, the pressure there. I don't know who's injured, but there was a lot of injuries this game. I don't know how many we took. I know we took one with our quarterback. Wide open on fourth and 11, and there he goes. Gets the separation and scores. Uh, terrible uh, coverage there by me. Came with the pressure. We almost had it, to be fair, but still. Stupid play by me. Third and six. I don't know what he's doing. I just took a shot and was having a little bit of fun. And just scored with Crawford. I mean, naughty. Can't get any easier than that. And speaking of Bates, holy crap. Normally, I don't celebrate, but Jesus. Come on now. And uh, that pretty much would end the game. Score of, what, 50 to 18. Yeah, we went with, uh, I think, a QB kneel after we scored that Crawford touchdown. Like, I didn't want to run up the score there. It's just it was third down and nobody else was open. I was just going to take a shot, throw it up, and he got it, I guess. I mean, one-on-one -on -one Crawford usually will have a good chance at it. I mean, look at that. Even then, I think even on the second user there, kind of pulled off the coverage a little bit again. So I don't, I don't know what to say. Elliott had a great game. The rookie was okay. I mean, there was a couple of mistakes that I personally made, but hopefully that injury isn't long. Six, uh, pretty much ten takeaways this game. Uh, probably almost four or five, like, turnover type plays because uh, we both fumbled a couple of times but recovered our own plays. So a lot of turnovers that game. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching as always, and we will show you the injury at the end of this. But hope you come back for next video. But until next video, no injury. See ya.